so today we are going to discuss another problem of uh, push down automata uh, consider language a raised to n b raised to m where n is greater than m and m is greater than equal to 1 so in this language if you can see this language comprises of a's and b's first we will have all a's then we will have b's number of a's in the strings will be greater than number of b's and minimum there will be one b in our string because m is greater than equal to one so the strings in this language will be if the value of m is one then the first string will have n as two because n is greater than m so two a's with one b will be one string now n is greater than m so we may have three a's also with one b then 4 a's with 1 b, 5 a's with 1 b and so on. If the value of m is 2, minimum value of n will be 3. So we'll have 3 a's with 2 b's. We may also have 4 a's with 2 b's, 5 a's with 2 b's and so on. When the value of m is 3, minimum value of n will be 4. So we'll have 4 a's with 3 b's, then 5 a's with 3 b's and so on. So these kind of strings will be there in our language where now the value of m is 1 the value of n will be 2 3 4 and so on value of m is 2 n is 3 4 and so on value of m is 3 value of n is 4 5 and so on now here what we understand is uh, our number of a's should be more correct so if if i see that this count should be more as compared to this count so first we should be able to count these so our history again in this problem will be number of a's so we'll be pushing all our a's onto the stack until we encounter a b the moment we encounter a b will for every b will pop equivalent a what will happen after some time our string will finish a valid string will finish but there will be still some a's that will be remaining on stack for example i'll push this i'll push this for this b i'll pop this a so still this a will be remaining on my stack similarly i'll push this push this push this for this b i'll pop this a still there are some a's remaining on stack push 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 for this i'll pop this a for this i'll pop this a still there are some a's remaining on stack right so whenever my string is getting finished so my input becomes null at that time my top of stack is going to be a in this example for any string you can consider here also push 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 for this b this a is popped for this b this a is popped for this b this a is popped now null is there but top of stack is a for every example you can see that top of stack will remain a and if it remains a then only we can say that this particular string is accepted by my language so for entering into the accepting state i'll be checking my top of stack here as a and not as z0 which you usually do right so that is the only difference in this problem let us construct now pda for this so initially we are in q0 the first symbol that we'll get will be a we'll push that a will push all subsequent a's until we encounter a b the moment we encounter a b will start popping a will keep on popping all a's for respective b's that we encounter until the string is finished when the string is finished we will get input as null now here we will have a as top of stack here we will be having a as top we may keep that a as it is and we will enter into accepting state because in the acceptance definition of pda which we had defined in video number uh, three if i am not wrong uh, that is acceptance of pda we had defined that if we process the entire input string and we enter into an accepting state no matter what is present on our top of stack so it is not compulsory that every time your top of stack should become z0 Okay, that is not the compulsion if you see the definition of acceptance of pda the first type that is entering into accepting state or entering into final state in that we have given definition as that after processing the entire input string 
if we enter into the accepting state no matter what is present on top of stack we say that given string is accepted by our pdm so here our top of stack will remain as a and not as z0 in that case right so this is how the pdm will look like if we have a raised to n b raised to m and greater than m and m is greater than equal to 1 so we can have uh, the remaining tuples written capital q now will be q0 q1 q2 alphabet is a and b initial state is q0 which belongs to capital q accepting state is set q2 which is subset of capital q to in our example here is z0 and a initial stack symbol is z0 which belongs to 2 and we can write the delta functions in the form of table that is move number state input stack and moves so move number 1 q0 a z0 Q0 A Z0 Q0 A A Q0 A A Q0 B A Q1 Null Q1 B A Q1 Null Q1 Null A Q2 A You can solve one ID notation as a practice at home. You can straight take a string A A A B B. Thank you.